So hello gamers, today I'm going to be reviewing every single choke in Phantom Forces. And guess what, I have every single choke unlocked on the DT-11 already. This is the most kills I've gotten on an update gun I think ever. I've never just taken a new gun like this and gotten this many kills, especially this fast. The only gun that I've gotten more than a thousand kills that I can remember is like the K2. But all the other guns, maybe I have like 500 kills on them, I still like using them. But this one I already have 1,436 kills on. And yes, I have every choke, so we're going to be reviewing all of them. But let's get into it. So I guess we can start with default choke, aka no choke at all. It does 38 times 9 to 17 times 9 in this case. In other cases, it would do more damage than any of the other chokes would actually do. And this one just has like your default spread. It doesn't have anything good, but it doesn't have super bad spread, especially in the case of this one. I mean, there are plenty of guns that have pretty bad spread default, like the AA-12, but I don't really have any of the chokes on that one. This thing can kill super far though. Like you'd be surprised what chokes do to your gun. If you don't know what chokes do, they actually lower damage and velocity. And that means sometimes you'll one-shot less, but sometimes you'll one shot more. Also, you can tell I'm actually pretty good with this gun because I've been using it so much, I kind of have everything down. And plus, altogether, I probably have like 4,000 kills on both the double barrels because one of them I have 1,400 and the other one I have 1,700. I guess that's not 4,000, but it's pretty close, like 3,500. And yeah, I mean, like, this thing is just, it's so good. In my opinion, it's not broken. Like, you sometimes don't one shot and you have to reload every two shots and it's not a big deal. But yeah, moving on to our first choke, the improved choke. The improved choke actually makes your muzzle velocity a little bit worse about like 150 depending on which gun you're using it on and you go from 39 to 32 damage so expect to lose a ton of damage up close and some damage in LRC so instead of 17 you do 15.3 which means you can now four pellet kill instead of three and at range I believe it's a seven instead of a six pellet kill what this means is that you're gonna have to hit more pellets to actually get the kill and all your pellets will actually fly a little bit slower so while it's actually kind of easier to get kills at range it's also kind of harder if that makes sense you have to hit more pellets so while you have lower spread you actually have to be more accurate with your spread. So it's really important to actually be pretty good in order to use this competently. And if you can't use it competently, I don't really recommend you use a choke because default spread and damage makes a lot more sense for a lot of players. The only time that it kind of makes sense is like the Remington 870 and the KSG because you don't really lose a lot on those ones with chokes. But yeah, let's pull out the improved choke. Okay, this is not a very good map for this. Regardless, you have kind of better spread. It's not a huge difference in spread, not like the other chokes. This is the least downsides, but the least upsides because the way that these work is the tighter they make your spread, the worse your velocity gets, and the worse your damage gets. But if you want a small improvement and not a ton of downside, then this is pretty good. You do lose a pellet to heal up close and an LRC, at least with this one. Oh, I forgot I have the boxy bust. Okay, I got a 75. That's nice. Regardless, as you can see, I'm killing pretty far, but I'm not one tapping completely unless I'm super accurate. So while my spread is better, doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily one shot more, just objectively more. I might one shot more if I'm more accurate, but it really does require a little bit more skill, but it's still kind of an upgrade to your spread. So it's interesting. The chokes in this game are just like, they really worked hard to make them balance. And I like that, but I just don't feel like they should have added them at all. Because the thing is, people complain so much about the shotguns. It's like, wow, they're actually going to add, wow, that was good. They're just going to add an attachment that makes the spread better people are gonna complain i mean like i am kind of going off right now come on yes okay quad multi 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 no next you have combat barrel yes this is technically not a choke but it does change your spread and i really wanted to use this because i may as well since i'm reviewing all the chokes review the combat barrel and the short barrel as well so the combat barrel reduces your damage ranges but increases your max a little bit but only by 1.5 studs which is not a big deal it also makes your spread a lot worse and your muzzle velocity as low as what it would be with the first choke however However, it does make your reload time faster. And this is the reason that you should probably use this if you're up close. Now, it doesn't change your reload speed by a ton, a ton, but it looks... I mean, that's a little bit faster. So if you want a little bit faster reload, this is definitely helpful. And it doesn't have the same upsides as the short barrel. It doesn't make your reload that fast, but it doesn't have as many downsides either. So it's kind of like, it's kind of in between. It's like a medium barrel instead of a super short barrel. And you can't use it with another choke because it's a barrel attachment. It would be really nice if you could use a choke and a barrel, but it's impossible just with the attachment system in this game. If it had bad business attachment system, then yeah, but no. So yeah, use this up close, but not really at range. But next up, you have the duck build choke. The thing about the duck build is basically it makes your spread more horizontal instead of vertical. What that means is that your vertical spread is lower, but your horizontal spread is higher. So as you can see, look at this, it's going all the way around here. And you might be thinking, why would that be helpful? 
and there really is no reason. The thing about players in literally any game, here's the thing, a player is tall and not wide. So if it did the opposite, where your horizontal spread was really good, but your vertical spread was bad, then it would be good. But with this, it's not really helpful. The only time it might be helpful is if you just can't hit your shots. But the thing is, it's like, it still lowers your damage and velocity. And it's a shotgun, it's not really that hard to hit your shots. Maybe it might be helpful in like an AA-12, because then you can just spray until you kill a guy. But you will just one tap less, and you'll take longer to kill every single player. So is it really worth it? In my opinion, no. And I'm pretty sure it reduces damage and muzzle velocity anyways. I don't think that was necessary. In fact, I think it should probably increase your muzzle velocity or something, because there's really not enough upsides for this to be viable at all. If I was shooting a guy normally, I would have been able to hit at least one hit marker with this. The only time this might be helpful is if there's a bunch of people in a row or something, but that's never gonna happen. But then you have the modified choke. This is basically like the improved choke, but more upsides and less downsides. In this case, it lowers your velocity to 1,360 and your damage to 32.29, the same max, but 14.45 at range instead of 15.3. So lower muzzle velocity and lower damage at range. But of course, it's still better spread. As you can see, the spread is really good now. This is the choke that I've used the most. I probably have like 10 kills on full choke because I literally unlocked full choke and then started recording. Now, modified choke is like, it's like the jack of all trades. It has like medium upsides and medium downsides because the thing about full choke is, I guess we'll talk about what full choke does because full choke has a little bit more of a downside. So this reduces damage at range by a little bit more and it reduces velocity by more than the improved choke does. So you have lower velocity, but better spread, which I'm not really too sure how that works since spread and velocity are actually directly tied to each other. Choke and velocity make your spread. Like if you had really high velocity, but really high choke, you might still have really good spread, even though your choke is like bad. It's kind of interesting, but think about it. If your pellets take longer to go somewhere, then they're going to have longer to spread out. But in my opinion, modified choke might be the best, but full choke is obviously like if you have the kills for that, use it. The thing about modified choke is it's like 300 kills or something, but full choke is like 1,400. But now we have paradox choke. Now paradox choke is actually really, really bad unless you use it with slugs. Like do not use it unless you're using it with slugs. It's like the opposite of a normal choke. It doesn't affect damage, but it makes your ranges better and your velocity better, but your spread worse. So as you're going to see, it's like, oh my gosh, that is a huge difference. Before, even without a choke, this was actually like pretty good spread. There's only two uses for this. First off with slugs, it has no downside. It's just an upgrade. But if you're going to use it on a normal shotgun, there's only one use. And that use is, of course, if you don't like how good your spread is. And I don't know why anybody would be like, yeah, I want worse spread on my shotgun. But maybe it's the same person who would use a duckbill. If you want really bad spread, but like you just like spraying, just, I don't know, use the AA-12. I would not recommend using this. The only advantage that I can see is that it doesn't affect damage like other chokes. And obviously that it's super good with slugs. And slugs are also not very good on this one anyways. Like DT-11 slugs is not super good. If it has a paradox choke and the slugs are actually good, then definitely use it. But now we have the diverter. This is like a duck bill, but worse, but it's also like a duck bill, but better. Instead of making your horizontal spread a lot worse, but not super worse, it makes your horizontal spread super worse. And yeah, I mean, like, look at that. It's so bad. I guess this might be helpful with like bird shot. I don't know why they added these. The nice advantage of the diverter over the duck bill is that it has more spread than the normal one, which I guess is kind of nice. And also it reduces your velocity by less than the duck bill does and doesn't reduce your damage, which is pretty nice. I'll give it that it actually might be better than the duck bill. But let's be real. The only advantage, quote unquote, on the duck bill is kind of just a disadvantage. And this has the bigger disadvantage. So maybe it might be worse anyway. Like its niche is better, but its niche sucks. It's just a bad niche. Again, I don't know why they added this. I guess it's just funny for a meme. If somebody asks you for a best setup on a shotgun, please give them diverter. So they pre-buy and just never get a kill again. Because this is simply objectively worse. Like it just won't kill as much. Hey, we're going quad barrel shotgun mode. No hits, no hits, nice. Three shots, one hit marker. Literally, if I wasn't using the choke at all, it would have killed more. Like, yeah, it can still kill people, but I have 1,500 kills on this gun, so please trust me when I say this is just killing less. Like, I don't have to be as accurate, I guess. Maybe that's the reason. It's just like, oh, yes, I can just be less accurate. But I mean, it's a shotgun. It doesn't really matter. It's already pretty not accurate. But then next, we have short barrel, which if you don't want very good spread, then this is the perfect option for you because not only does it not have the annoying horizontal spread line, it also has the fastest reload you've ever seen. Like, for two shots even, that's so fast. I'm not sure how fast the reload actually actually is because you can't check but you just can't see the reload time when you change it it highlights in yellow and it doesn't tell you i believe i said that in tips and tricks part one i'll put that in the top right anyway but yeah short barrel dt11 it has that spread but i mean look at this 
Like this is super nice. The spread is super, super good for close range only, but the reload time, bro. The reload time is really what sets it apart. So if you're only playing in CQC, just use this because then you can just reload fast. Oh yeah, there's a staircase here now. Oh, that's a lot of people. But yeah, I mean like this is not the best choke in my opinion. The reload time is super nice, but it's only good for CQC. So if you like fast reloading, then I guess use short barrel, but at that point, you might as well just use a different shotgun because, oh my gosh, how did I get that kill? The hits the kill range. It's not very good. A 30 and 3. Oh my gosh. 30 and 3. And I was using short barrel and diverter. Then we got full choke. This is the final choke. The choke to end all chokes. Quantified choke is 32.29 to 14.45. But full choke is 30.4 to 13.6. So maybe an 8 or 9 pellet kill at range. And up close you lose even more damage. And you lose even more muzzle velocity. But your spread is just, I guess the best that it can possibly be. So this should one shot the farthest. If you're accurate. But if you're not accurate. The pellets to kill are a lot worse. You go from having a 3 to a 6 to probably a 4 to an 8 or maybe a 9 or something. It's very, very bad. Like 13 damage is pretty much unheard of normally. So if you don't want to have to deal with like all the upsides and downsides of chokes, I would just recommend not using a choke at all. Just use like muzzle break or something. But I'm going to be real. If you have a lot of kills, I just recommend, I guess, use this choke. You don't have to necessarily use this choke to begin with or even pre-buy it. Personally, I didn't pre-buy any of the chokes. I just went, okay, I'll just use the first choke I get and then the second one and then the third one. So I don't think it's a big deal. But yeah, overall, I feel like full choke is probably the best, but it does have downsides. And if you don't want to deal with the downside, you don't have to use it, which is nice because they didn't just nerf the normal guns and then give them chokes. Also, I just got rubber pellets. That's 1.5k, right? 1.5k kills, baby. Time to put ballistics tracker on my DT-11 Pro. Wait, hold on. This probably works. Oh my gosh. Is this actually good? Look at this. I can actually see him from across the map and I can account for drop now. I'm definitely taking this off. I don't like it. It looks garbage. It feels garbage. I don't want to be this guy. But yeah, gamers, overall, the chokes are cool. I still don't think they should have been added. What are you going to do, man? Now that they're in the game, I think it's cool. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.